All right, we finally have this little car on. I have tested it, so I know it works, but it's pretty cool. Whoa, it just swings forever. I want to thin down that link, make it a little more elegant. I put one weight on the the car carriage, but toes it pretty good. There's still a little bit of herky-jerky there. And that's hard to run down, but I'll figure it out. And sometimes I think if I let this run for hours, it'll get broken in and it'll smooth out. Maybe some oil here and there fine machine oil. It's a tweaky project, that's for sure. Gotta keep tweaking. And now I'm gonna go add the third the third car. It's half done, so I gotta make the a few more parts and add that on there. And we'll have another little video. As I put it together, I can't wait to try it, so that's why it's kind of partial. This one has the weight plate on car number two with the weight on it, and nothing on car number three except I managed to put a little weight on there. Uh, the links are working fine. There was some question about how they would work pulling cars at a point midway down from the carriage, you know, down toward the car itself. But it looks good, it's working fine. With the cars on, I'm still thinking about bellows between the cars. There are very interesting videos out there on YouTube about making bellows. It's basically, it's a folded structure made out of one piece of material. Getting it down to that, though, is tricky and doubly so when I go so small, as small as I need to be for this. But it's also possible to have rubber parts 3D printed, so I'm looking into that. The thickness of the material will have to be very thin. I lost a weight. And that is going to about wrap it up for the suspended train, at least for a while, until I get either my own 3D printer or have some passenger cars made uh, using, you know, send out 3D printing. But that's down the road. I'm inserting a line here about how I'm on a longer trip now. I mean, when this video comes out, I'll be on the trip. And then there is some long neglected house, shop, and yard work to do. And during that time, I'll be working up larger scale constructions within the Kineticon display. I'll be doing more modeling, installing the sliding door set, the orrery tower that I've built, laser array pointer, mechanical butterfly, and building the ball coaster, on which we'll have a series of instructionals for those wanting to build rolling ball sculptures. Also, notably, I'll be finishing up the Sisyphus crane, and setting up the coin ramp and switch mechanism. You know how you put the quarter in and it rolls down and trips the switch. As the coin mechanism comes together, the whole project will come around a corner, I think. It's the device that more than anything else makes the connection between this weird build series of what kind of kinetic gizmo thing and the monetization aspect. You know, you make money, you, get, you collect the quarters. So that should be soon, that part about the coin ramp. I think that's uh, maybe next on the list between that and, as I promised, the Sisyphus crane, which is a very unique thing in and its, in and of itself, but it requires a bunch of stuff, including more 3D modeling. So we'll see how that goes. There will be a one or two week break until the next video. But until then, thanks for watching and... Goodbye.